There are times when you might feel aimless and can't see the places where you belong, but you will find that there is a purpose. It's been there within you all along, and when you're near it, you can almost hear it. It's like a symphony Just keep listening And pretty soon you'll start To figure out your part Everyone plays a piece In their own melodies And each one of us Oh, it's glorious And you will know how to let it ring out as you discover who you are. Others around you will start to wake up to the sounds that are in their hearts. It's so amazing what we're all creating. It's like a symphony Just keep listening And pretty soon you'll start To figure out your part Everyone plays a piece And there are melodies And each one of us Oh, is glorious As you feel the notes build oh, you will see It's like a symphony Just keep listening And pretty soon you'll start <laughs> To figure out your part Everyone plays a piece in their arm One of us, oh, is glorious. Any new ones? Fuck a lot of lay out to any uh, Japanese. Konnichiwa. Oh, yeah, three. And the Indians, namaste. And uh, welcome. Good evening. Thank you for coming to our steak variety show. Uh, Mount Roscoe Steak Variety Show. We welcome each and every one of you, uh, members of the Mount Roscoe Steak, and any friends and family that you've brought along tonight. We welcome you this evening. Uh, before we start, I just want to go through some house rules I mentioned earlier on, just to make sure we know what's happening. So, in case of an emergency, should something happen, please make your way to the back car park. And please, uh, adults, don't forget your kids. Don't worry about the plates. Just make sure you take your kids with you. Okay, please, be mindful of that. The other thing, toilets. If you need to use the toilets, they're on my left at the back and my right at the back there, and then two toilets to the side here. So if anything should happen. The other thing is smoking is prohibited, and... Uh, I've already given you the areas where you can smoke, but not in the chapel grounds. So if you would respect that, that uh, smoking prohibited in church grounds. Other than that, should anybody feel unwell, uh, we have somebody designated to look after you. So just put your hand up and then we'll come into you. But we do have somebody to look after you. Okay, the other thing is uh, for all the wards, uh, those that are performing, 
Can I just give him a big hand first? Give a big hand to all the wards who have fallen. You know, this is the first time we've had a Mount Rockscore State Variety Show for many years. So this will be the first time that some of them will be performing. So, you know, uh, give them all the confidence by, you know, standing up, uh, standing up, oh no, just clap. Just clap loud for the wards, that's all I'm saying. Support each other, that's what we're here for. So the other thing is, uh, just for the Mount Rossville Stake, uh, just for your information, uh, tomorrow we have the Stake Temple uh, Devotional. It is tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Just a, a reminder for those uh, who are attending the Stake Temple Devotional. And finally, to the wards that are performing, uh, please, when you come, can you please come on to my right and then exit to my left? Okay, please make sure that you come to my right and exit to my left. Okay, we don't want a traffic jam right in the middle while we're live streaming. And on that note, we are live streaming, so yeah, let's get a, uh, you know, make sure we get a good applause from the group, from our, from the, uh, attend those attending to this evening. So, Without further ado, we're going to uh, have our first ward perform, and they're from the Epsom Ward. So let's give them a big welcome, Epsom Ward. <laughs> Bigger than that, come on. A brief history of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the Fiji Mission, 
1971, and the Tahiti Abete Mission, 1975. The islands are now part of the New Zealand Open Mission. President David O'Neill visited in 1955. An Arotoa Mission was created on 20th of November 1960, but later became part of the New Zealand Mission. In the early 1960s, the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ, was translated into Cook Island, Maori. In 1979, there were 718 members in 10 branches in the Cook Islands. President Spencer W. Kimball visited Rarotonga in February 1981 during the trip to the South Pacific and held a short service with members there in an airport hangar. In 1990, the government issued a series of stamps featuring the first missionaries to the Cook Islands in various denominations. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints stamp featured a painting of Aloiso in the foreground and a drawing of a church building in the background. On the 4th to the 7th of September 1996, church members celebrated the 50th anniversary of the church in the Cook Islands. During the four-day celebration, members participated in dances, exhibits, sporting events, district conference, and other gatherings. To go all my
Uh, just wanted to also introduce our theme for tonight is leading into the light and as you see they depict uh, the uh, when the gospel arrived in, in uh, Cook Islands so it also depicts as Prophet Joseph Smith so uh, that's the name of our theme tonight so without further ado I'm going to introduce the next ward which is uh, Balmoral Ward so let's give him a big hand Balmoral Ward If you can just bring the tree back, I need to take it back and plant it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Metaki. Big hand for Belmar Award. Oh, come on. Big ahead. Mom, Dad, do prayers work? Son, God surely does answer prayers. Let me tell you a story about a little boy named Joseph.
Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Both of Thank you for going the right way. Okay, just give me one more big hand to Papa. Ward. Yeah. <laughs> so, our next item we're going to hear from uh, Mel Oscar Fourth Ward. And so, let's give him a big welcome, Mel Oscar Fourth. As the Polynesian people, we have passed on our most meaningful stories through song and dance. This is how we keep our culture and traditions alive. This dance is very sacred to us, as it tells us of one of the most important stories, when God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ appeared to Joseph Smith, changing history forever. Reading through the book of James, Joseph came across verse 5, which stated, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Joseph, a young boy seeking the fullness of the gospel and the desires of his heart, knelt down and prayed to the Lord, of which he was overwhelmed by a strong sense of despair. A pillar of light above the brightness of the sun then appeared, which he then saw two personages whose brightness and glory defies all description, one calling Joseph by name and pointing to the other, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Jesus Christ then advising Joseph to join no church, but that the gospel in its fullness was about to be restored. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Another big hand for Mel Rock's book four. Okay, we're just going to uh, invite Odi Hangamor. If you're here, please, can you make your way to the right, my right? And then after that, we're just going to have an interlude for about five minutes, and then we'll, we'll carry on with the program. So, without further ado, Odi Hangamor is here. Let's give him a big hand. Odi Hangamor.
One more hand for Oni Hung Award. Thank you. Can we have First Ward come to the stage, please, First Ward? Come on to Jesus, ye healthy laden, careworn and fainting, by sin oppressed, he'll safely guide you. Go ahead with First Ward. Big hand for First Ward.
Thank you, First Ward. Let's give him a big hand. Of Te Lawa, First Ward. I uh, hope you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, we've already gone past the uh, halfway mark, so we only have uh, probably three or four wards and then our kapaka group. So at this time, we'd like to invite, uh, or when we make our, uh, we're going to have uh, Linfield Ward perform for us. So this time, let's give him a big hand, Linfield Ward.
think he lived, lived the award. Let's give him another hand, please. Lived the award. Uh, beautiful, brightly beamed song. Thank you for that. Okay, now we'll hear from uh, Blockhouse Bay Ward. I invite Blockhouse Bay Ward to come up, and then after that, second ward, second ward, if you'd be ready on the side as well. So, what are we doing? Are they ready? Okay. I'm just going to, if you can see me, I'm just going to sing uh, I'm a child of God, one verse. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to this side, and then when I've had enough of that, then I'll point to this side. Okay, so I'll start off. This side, start first, I'm a child of God, and then I'll point when I'm ready to point to this side. Are you ready, this side? Okay, kids, help our adults, please. I am a child of God. One, two. I am a child of God, and he has sent me here, and given me me. Oh, I've got another group here. With You just performed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, from now we're going to hear from Blockhouse Wayboard. Let's give him a big hand. Blockhouse Wayboard.
Thank you, Blockhouse Bay. Now we come to uh, second ward. So let's give a big second ward welcome. Second ward.
Everyone was like-minded. Everyone loved the gospel of Jesus Christ and everyone loved their culture of being Māori. So it was a really uh, beautiful kaupapa. Um, really, I want to give you a little bit of a background history of our group. Um, when the huito was first proposed, uh, Henderson State and Mount Roscoe State got together um, and decided that we'd form a group together. Um, so under the direction of President Aaron Huidepa and Sister Adele Huidepa, um, they tutored us and we came together as a group together called Waitakereki Puketapapa, which means Henderson to Mount Roscoe State. Um, our performance tonight, because each group at the Huito was given a theme, and our theme that we chose was the first vision. So we hope that uh, you will feel our message tonight. The first vision is of course about a young 14 year old boy who was confused about the different religions that existed at that time and he wanted to know the truth. And so he prayed with a sincere heart and he asked Heavenly Father which of these churches he should join. And of course he read from the scriptures and it told him to ask God and he asked God. And eventually he was told that a vision will come to him and that he would be instrumental in the church being restored to this earth. So our performance is mostly about the first vision. So we hope that you can feel the Holy Ghost or the Spirit tonight as we perform for you. So as we are about to start, it would be really fantastic if you gave our group a big, big, big clap and encourage us. People are a little bit nervous. But we want to thank you all for being here tonight, especially all the other groups that were just on, especially the Tottenham group that was just on before us. Didn't they blow the stage apart? Amazing. All right, once again, Pucky Pucky Mai. Mawaitakere ki Puketapapa. Thank you. 
Kotura. Kotor te hunga tapu. O te takiwa le o puke tapa pa te rako o te kato. A le mo a te hunga takiwa o e tāpere puke tapa pa. E tū haka hihi ana i o kotor wāwaro e te lewa. No reira, huri nō te ngā kotor. E tīkana te kaupapa o te hui tau. A tātau. E ngā kaunui ana te ao Māori ki te ronga pai o te hāhi o i koreiti o ngā hukatapu o ngā rāi huri nei, nō reira huri nō, huri nō, tēnei wā tātou whare, tēnā kotou, tēnā kotou, tēnā tātou katou, o tēnā kāhu! group good? Were they good? <laughs> so um, my family and I are going to sing a song and uh, that'll be my closing remarks and then someone's going to say a prayer, okay? So. This is going to be my closing remarks, it won't be long. Kaya tahu. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I mean. Um, just to clarify, I don't have a single wayata after this or anything. Most gracious and eternal Heavenly Father, as we bow our heads before Thee, our hearts are full of gratitude for the blessings that we have enjoyed. To be able to celebrate this night together as friends and families. We're grateful for the knowledge that the gospel has been restored, that thy priesthood presides and leads and directs us. We thank thee, Father, for the talents that have been displayed this night. It brings joy and contentment to our hearts to know that we can share with one another the blessings and the talents that thou hast bestowed upon us that we may learn to be one before thee. We're grateful that we have been edified and that we have rejoiced together in the variety of different talents as they have borne testimony to thee of the blessings that we do enjoy. We are mindful, Father, of those that we have lost. We are grateful for the blessings that they have been in our lives throughout the years and pray they'll look over them past the veil as they continue to serve thee there. Please look over us this night as we travel home that we may do so safely and pray that thy spirit will continue to abide with us, that it may strengthen and guide us, that we may continue to honour our covenants before thee and that we may be always worthy of the blessings that we seek. For we are grateful, Father, for those that lead and preside over us and give thee thanks for thy love and the sacrifice of thy son who has allowed us that we may have the opportunity of returning to thee. We offer up this prayer unto thee in his holy name, even Jesus Christ. Amen. Little by little, some of those whistles hit 
Don't matter in the end So just slow it all down Slow it all down Little by little Someone blows a whistle It's the matter 